action. In this case, in this unique situation in the world at the moment, foreign policy will remain a hot topic in a domestic election. I think there's no doubt about it. We're coming up to the 10th anniversary uh, of the 9-11 attacks. I think the threats in the world continue. We still have unrest, turmoil in the Middle East. We still have Iran vigorously pursuing nuclear weapons. We still have the problem of North Korea. There's no doubt the economy is going to be an incredibly important issue. But I think those who write foreign policy off politically are making a big mistake. And so will, so will candidates be making a big mistake, you say, if they are one-issue candidates? Yes, I, th I think there's, there's going to be a, a number of issues that are going to be important to the American people. Obviously, my own background is foreign policy, but if I decide to get into this, uh, I will cover the full range of issues. I think that's very important. If I, if I decide to run, I will run to win. And uh, we have seen an election uh, where the, uh, a black man was elected to uh, President of the United States, do you think uh, the American people are ready to elect a man with a moustache? Uh, well, the, the last uh, successful candidate with a moustache was William Howard Taft. Right. That's not exactly my model. Maybe the one before him, Theodore Roosevelt, would be a better model. Yeah. I think you're, you're wise if you take that course, I think. Very wise indeed. And uh, when will you make your decision, or have you more or less made it, to run for the presidency. No, I'm still I'm still considering it. I think the schedule of this election cycle has been pushed back quite a bit. That obviously benefits non-traditional candidates. Uh, I think there's no coalescence yet around any Republican figure for the nomination, but I think President Obama uh, is very vulnerable next year and uh, there's a great hunger to replace him and, and uh, it's a question of settling on the right candidate to do that. But it could be you. It certainly could be, as Obama himself proves, uh, in America, any little boy or girl can grow up to be president. <laughs> John, thank you very much indeed for being with us with that tour d'horizon, and we look forward to having you with us again soon. Thanks a million. Well, thank you very much. Where does this all leave relations between Pakistan and her Western allies?